Rod in Canada. Welcome to the Line of Fire. Thank you. Thank you. For, thank you for taking my call. You are very welcome. Uh, the other day you had a caller from Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, yeah. I was joking at the end. We got to talk about aliens, right? <laughs> yeah. So I wanted, I wanted to get your take on that because um, a congressman recently mentioned that there's pretty clear evidence for UFOs in the Bible and his reference point was Ezekiel 1. And I think if you look at um, the new the NIV, it's like 1, 4 through 5. And, and just generally, like, um, what, what your take is. And because when I, when I read a lot of things that talk about bright lights and, and um, voices from angels and things like that, it sounds like the UFO experience that a lot of people report now. So, yeah. Right. So, Thank you. Okay. Th- thanks for the question. All right. First, a UFO doesn't mean an alien. It just means an unidentified flying object, right? So... If, if, if the government says, yes, we know the existence of UFOs, so no one's denying that UFOs exist. The question is, what are they? What's behind them? Who are they? You do have the highly unlikely scenario that an advanced civilization, so advanced that it's able to time travel all the way over here, comes here and then you know, spurts around the air for a little while and takes off and disappears. And it's also very interesting that in the great majority of cases that I'm aware of, just as I've read what others have documented, because I've never studied this uh, on my own. I've, I've studied what others have said about it. The great majority of cases where you have people talking about these UFO encounters, there are people into New Age stuff. There are people into alternate types of spirituality. And then you'll have people who are believers saying the exact thing happened to them. There was this light hovering over them. They felt their, their spirit being sucked out of their body, and they rebuked it in Jesus' name. And next thing, they were, they were back to normal. So for them, they just believe it was some demonic type of thing. So that's all I'm going to say about UFOs, aliens today. But as far as in the Bible to say, okay, Ezekiel one, that, that, that must've been explained as the UFO and the wheels within the wheels. And what else would that be? Well, bear in mind that this is when God speaks to Ezekiel, right? In other words, if that's the case, then Ezekiel never had an encounter with God and all of his prophecies were actually not from God. And all the words he received subsequently in the miraculous confirmations, it was not from God. It was some alien being that was very, very powerful. And not only so, where you have elsewhere, like in Ezekiel 8, where an angel comes from the presence of the Lord, you know, like like burning fire, that that is also not really uh, from God. This was just another alien encounter. So to me, that's so bogus. That's so completely wrong. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel is so clearly... The word of God and the encounter he has with God is so life transforming in so many ways. And his message is one of holiness and repentance and the things he prophesies actually come to pass that I I throw that theory out completely and entirely. And there's nothing I read in the Bible that strikes me like, wow, that must've been a UFO. I remember as a new believer hearing, oh, the Bible prophesies about cars. It's like, what? As soon as you you get to to Nahum, Nahum, you get to that book and it's talking about the chariots and like blazing in the, in the, uh, in the streets. So that was the Bible prophesying about cars or the Bible prophesied about airplanes. Where's that? Well, in Ecclesiastes that a little bird will fly and report what was heard in one place and another place. Like it's a figure Got of it. speech. So I don't see any more evidence for UFOs than for those things in the Bible. I, pre- I appreciate uh, your answer. So thank you. And I, I also appreciate the way you handle a lot of, uh, challenging calls and callers. And I think you do a really good job in balancing uh, compassion and, and kindness and, and truth. So well done. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did click on one of the boxes on the screen, check out another one of our videos and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. You know, We discovered that about 60% of you that are watching our videos aren't subscribers. So subscribe today doesn't cost you a dime. And if you want to support our work, Line of Fire, and all the things that we do, follow one of the links on the screen below.